everyone. Welcome back to Mark's Library Live. Yeah, so week five? For five? For the Ooh, it rhymes. Mark's Library Live at 145, week five. Yeah. Shoot, we're like Poe. Rhyme in our poetry. Okay, um, look at nursery rhyme. Um, so, so, this week, I can't believe we're five weeks in the semester already. I know, it's unbelievable. I mean, I say already, and at the same time, I'm like, is it 45 weeks in the right. semester? Because it kind of feels like it. It's fast and slow at the same time. It defies <laughs> physics. <laughs> kind of like the tank game. Um, okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Oh, we should probably say who we are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll start this time. Okay. <laughs> I'm Brethren Shepherd. I'm the Arts and Humanities Librarian here at the Marks Library at the University of South Alabama, which you probably know. Because, yeah. Well, one day when we're famous and this is floating around the internet. Right. So they'll need, right. We want to need to know. Right. They'll need to know. Okay. So I am Stephanie Evers Art. I am the Social Sciences Librarian here at the Marks Library. At the University of South Alabama. At the University of South right. Alabama. And today, we thought it's about the right time in the semester to have a little chat. A little... A little tete-to-tete, -tete, right? <laughs> a little heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> a little... I don't know. What are some other, like... Um, meeting of the minds. There we go. Okay. About how... <laughs> about how to kind of work with... <laughs> about... <laughs> okay. About how to make the most of library resources and work with your friendly librarian. Um, some tips and strategies, right, for making the most of the situation. You make it sound like a bad situation. No, it's a great situation. <laughs> so but we want it to continue to be an amazing. Yeah, so making the most of what we have here to offer at the library. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Yes. Thank you. And by what we mean, okay, so where, we should, where should we start? Well, the reason we decided that this is a good time in the semester is because this is when assignments are really starting to amp up. Pick up! And amp up? Ramp up? Anyway. Both would work. Yeah, I think they both would work. I prefer the, the musical it one. It goes to 11! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we are seeing a lot more students than we see, like, at the very beginning of yeah, the semester. Yeah, I mean, because at the beginning of the semester, you're just kind of figuring out what's going on. The class is starting to figure out, like... You're reading introductory stuff, whatever. Now is when you start to get those like paper assignments, and you're like, hmm. So you, you're doing research, you're writing papers, you got ex bibs are coming up. You got exams that you're studying for in groups. So we want to talk a little bit. So that's why we want to talk a little bit about facilities, services, and then your librarians, right? We'll lump the uh, we'll we'll be separate from regular mm -hmm. services because we're special. Um, so we Do we ourselves. look like servants? <laughs> right so we talked a little bit about learning commons downstairs um it's new um but that's a great space for collaborative work right yes and it's not quiet it's not a quiet floor in there Somebody keep so, that in mind um so you are allowed to go in there and you can work in groups because i've noticed a lot of students they go in there and they think they have to go into a study room in order to work together in a group Ooh. no and those study rooms are only a few of them so they fill up really quickly and i've had to tell students Sit at a table. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can talk to each other. And it's okay to be like, I mean, don't like run around like, you know, like screaming, screaming but it's okay to you know, have a conversation. Have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't recommend screaming anywhere in a library. It might freak some librarians out. Um, Unless you need help. Right. And then scream. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, that's great collaborative space. There's the um, like collaborative dining, dinette booths mm -hmm. down there. Um, there's also a giant whiteboard, like literally we talked a little bit about this, so just go back to our Learning Commons one if you want to hear more about the Learning Commons, but that's a great space for collaborative Yeah, learning. so if you're studying like in a study group or if you have a project that you're, that, that you're working on with a team, that's a really good space to go. Second floor is also collaborative, um, kind of spaces a little less so than the furniture is not as movable, but it's collaborative. But the third and fourth floors are quiet study. So if you're looking for quiet study in the library, go to the third and fourth floors. So if you want people to leave you alone so you can study or write your paper, that's where you need to where go. you need to go. Okay, so some things to keep in mind calendar-wise about library services. And I'm mainly thinking ILL, right? Right, interlibrary loan. So um, we did a whole thing about interlibrary loan, which we probably will maybe revisit. Let us know, um, guys, if y'all would like us to revisit interlibrary loan. We're on a different platform now so mm -hmm. we can revisit it a little bit about it kind of stuff like that but some things to keep in mind for a timetable 
now's the time to start thinking about interlibrary learning materials. Yes, think ahead, at, think ahead when those projects are coming due because it does take some time for them to get the materials, especially if it's a book, like an actual physical book. Yeah, and book. if Harvard and Columbia are the only places that have it, that doesn't mean you're not going to get it, but it means it could take two weeks mm -hmm. to get it, right? I mean, think about the number of requests Harvard gets a day, right? And even for the electronically delivered articles, the demand is going to increase. And you're so not going to be the only person using IRL. Right. Not by a long shot. <laughs> they, they, they stay pretty busy. Pretty. Very yeah. busy. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, also... What was I going to say? Um, I was going to say something about the ILL timetable and I would tell you. Oh! Um, requests. Uh, the ILL office, so our amazing ILL people are only here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Or 7.30. But 8 to 5, right? So if you put in a request on Friday night, don't expect to get it Saturday morning. Like, it won't get processed until Monday. That's a really good point, yeah. So s just don't, like, think like, oh, I've got five days. It's fine. My paper's due Tuesday. It's Thursday. Really, you only have a day. Right. May, maybe, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, so that's a really good point. Even if the library is open, many of the services that are available to you will not be available except during regular business hours. Which segues beautifully <laughs> into our discussion about your librarians. That's such a great segue. You should be like on the radio. <laughs> what do they call that when, I don't remember. But anyway, that was, that was perfect. Thank you. You nailed it. Um, so working with your librarian, what are some things to keep in mind, Stephanie, as a librarian? As a librarian. What, how would you, what is your ideal working relationship with a student? Well, let me imagine what it's like to be a librarian for a minute. <laughs> okay, so just like with interlibrary loan, um, we have a schedule. So we're usually here, you know, 8 to 5, 9 to 5. Um, kind of regular business hours. Usually only answering our email during that time, too. Yeah, so, which... Yes. So if you send an email underscore over, over the weekend <laughs> or you know at two o'clock in the morning, we're probably not going to get to it till the next business day. I'm going to guarantee you, I'm not getting to it till the next business <laughs> and day. And it's not because we don't love you; it's because we're working on this whole like life work balance thing. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we probably it, it's true. we do love you. <laughs> yes. Um, and we want to help you as much as possible, right? But also, don't assume just because it's um, nine o'clock on a Tuesday that your email is the one email we're going to respond to immediately when we come in, right? Right. I mean, we have a lot of other things going on. Um, we have a lot of emails that we're getting. Um, that's probably the number one way students communicate with me. Which is great. Continue but, to email. But we also have consultations where students actually come into our office to work with us. If you want one of those, you probably want to schedule ahead yes. of time. Yes, please. Can we underscore that like a million times? Can we just like reiterate that 47 times? We want you guys to seek us out for help, right? Yes. It works so much better for you guys and for us if you give us a heads up mm -hmm. on like a time scheduling right we will make sure if you schedule we will be there we will be in our office we will be available to help you out um because we could be we could be um in a meeting we could be teaching, teaching a class you know we could be somewhere else on campus at a program um so we can't guarantee that we are sitting in our office waiting for you to show up and i have come back from a meeting to have with a, a line student of students standing there yeah. yes <laughs> so um it's a waste of your time right if you're waiting on us so just let us know shoot us an email um Generally, I think we like to work in about 30-minute mm -hmm. blocks, right? Most of the time, we can get what we do, what we need to done in 30 minutes. Um, at least I uh, Yeah, that's about can. right for me, too. If yeah. you're a graduate student, maybe a little bit longer. But um, just try get in touch with us, right? Um, we, it, 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 we appreciate it. Yes. You appreciate it. We appreciate it. It works it. out better for everyone. And that also gives us a little bit of time to prepare for the meeting. That's a great point, if right? We know when you're coming. Which also segues into the next point. You're really killing that today. <laughs> um, when you do schedule a time with a librarian, please come prepared mm -hmm. um, to discuss what you've done so far and then what your issues are, right? right? Um, because we are here to teach you how to do this, right? So that next time you can do it on your own. On your own. So um, please try before you come see a librarian. That way we can, and let us know when you email us what your issues you're having and then maybe we can prepare and kind of figure out what's going on here. It's also really useful if you can bring the details of the assignment. Oh God. <laughs> so if you, if you have an assignment sheet, bring it with you. Please. <laughs> it helps so much. Um, and sometimes like, the very first one we did this semester was how to read an assignment. Yes. Sometimes students misread, so if we have the assignment in front of us, sometimes it helps figure and out. And misremember. I mean, you and guys have a lot going on. There's like 47 things going on in your life, and you probably have like 47 things due, right? And so do you remember if it was a peer-reviewed article published between, you know, I mean, like, w 
We need last to know. Last 10 years, last five years. Right. What, what is it? How many articles is what it? What was the name of that journal when, when all the journals have titles? The Journal that are, of, of yeah. something. They're all sound the same. So yeah. bring your assignment. Um, so working with a librarian, make an appointment, please. Um, if you need contact information, it is on our website, and you can also call the service desk in the Learning mm -hmm. Commons, and we will tell you who your librarian is. Remember, you have a librarian. Yes. Um, so make an appointment, please. Prepare a little bit ahead of time. Do some research. Figure out what your problem is. Um, when you email us, let us know what's going on. Right? And just like with Interlibrary Loan, think about making these appointments oh ahead God. of time. If you try to make one at the last minute, there's a pretty good chance we won't be able to get you in. It's true. Truth. I mean, we're wildly popular. I, it's just... The truth is, we actually are seeing a lot of students. The truth is, we're yeah. seeing a lot of students. And the other thing, too, which is heartbreaking, um, for me at least, is when a student waits and makes an appointment um, and then comes and sees me and they're like, oh, hey, the paper's due in two days. And I'm like, well, if you'd seen me two weeks ago, um, we could have found all this amazing stuff in their library loan that we didn't have. Right. But now you can only use what we do have because we don't have any time for you to actually get what you need. So what I would have done is essentially like curtailed significantly, mm -hmm. right? Like suggestions I would have made to make your research project a thousand times better, you, you can't really can't happen. use the resources anymore. So um, another reason why don't wait. And we, we can work miracles, but we are not like conjurers. No. I wish I could. It'd be real, I'd conjure me a money tree. <laughs> But we can't, so we can only do so much in two hours, which, so that's a bad idea. Right. Very bad idea. But let's say you are that person. Me? You. You. You would never be that I person. I have never proposed But you would never be that person. <laughs> but let's say for a second that I was that person, actually, which is quite possible. I set up possible. the computer about two minutes before we it's did okay, this, so. Um, let's let you get a chance. So I kind of roll a little fast. So like, let's say I was that person. <laughs> who didn't uh, make an appointment, didn't think about it, and my paper's due in two days. What do I do? Reach out, hope for the best? Yeah, that's all you can do. I mean, we can do a lot. It's better for you to reach out than for you not. Yeah, the alternative is worse. Yeah, so for, if you need help, then ask for it. But it's better if you can ask for it early. Now, let's say it's 7.30 on a Tuesday, and my paper's due at 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. Is there anybody available to help me? 7.30 p.m.? Yes. Oh, yeah. You can come to the library and uh, go to the service desk in the Learning Commons. I keep wanting to call it the reference desk. I know. It's not the reference desk yes. anymore. The service desk. And um, there'll be someone there who can help you out. Our highly trained staff yes. will be there to help you find what you need. So you're not going to get to talk to your librarian, but you're still going to talk to somebody who's very well trained and who can set you on the right path, right? Um, but remember, um, we as librarians, as your lady as a librarian, probably have an idea of the assignment. You're mm -hmm. probably not the first person we've seen. We know your faculty. Um, yeah, we know um, what kinds of sources you're using in your major. So that's the one difference. Yeah, so yes, there is someone to help you if you do manage to get yourself into that bind. But why we're doing this the fifth week of the semester is to start thinking about not putting yourself in that really kind of uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. Where, because you're stressed out, we get stressed out, because we can't let you, you don't get to use all the things that, resources and services that we have. Right. If you wait that and long. And you're shortchanging yourselves and your projects. You will see that. Mm -hmm. Nobody, right? All right. Any other thing about working with the library slash librarians? Anything else? Well, if you're not already taking advantage of it, definitely do. Yeah, they pay us to be here. Yeah. It's just, I, I had a student, I was helping her, and she goes, if you need to leave, you can. And so I had to tell her, that, no, this is literally oh, no, I'm like, what no, I'm paid no, to do. This is my job. Yeah, and really and truly, like, I should, we should say, like, this is one of the, at least for me, and I know for Stephanie, I'm going to speak for you, too, because um, we have talked about this all the time. This is the part of the job that we really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like, there are things about our job that we're kind of like, ugh. Eh. But, like, we enjoy helping students. Yes, working with students is my favorite part of the job. So usually. let us do what we like to do, which is make your research projects amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything else? We're right at 15 minutes. I'm trying to think of something else that was like, if I could tell students this thing, it would be, don't, um, don't the, wait. Yeah, don't wait, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Oh, of my, that is such a nice thing to close on. Don't be afraid. 
they'll be afraid to ask for help. I know we're, help. Su- we're super intimidating, so. I think the library can be intimidating. Oh, it definitely can. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons we do this. So yeah. You guys can see that we're actually kind of nice, normal people. Yeah. Not nice. No, maybe least. not normal. Yeah. Please not me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so ask for help, right? Mm-hmm. Even if it is the 11th hour, we will do our, our best. We'll do what we can for you. Yeah. Okay, so keep this stuff in mind, right? Um, and All maybe right. we'll post, maybe in social media this week, could we post our liaison librarians again? Absolutely, like a, Okay, yeah. so we'll do that, like, um, just see a reminder. Yeah, help me remember to do that. I will, I will do that. Okay, okay, so we'll remind you who your liaisons are. Yeah. All right, so to make sure you catch that, you're already following us on Instagram, but look for us on Facebook and Twitter, and all of our previous episodes of Mark's Library Live are on YouTube as <gasps> Mark's Library Live. Yeah. So go there if you want to think about, like, we, we, we go into way, way depth, way detail. Way depth. We go way <laughs> depth. We go way deep into ILL with our ILL coordinator mm-hmm. in one of the episodes. So if you were like, what is this ILL magic of which they speak? Um, the wizard. The ILL wizard yes. is with us. Yes, the, the wizard herself. <laughs> we, yeah, she's straight up. She doesn't, she's wizard. Wizard. She's like Gandalf status. Yeah. Um, so, the white, not the gray. So, um, <laughs> wow. Okay, on that nerdiness, <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Next week. All right. Bye, guys. End. Takes forever to end on Instagram.